All right. Um, I said two minutes. So, if anyone went out for a drink or whatever, let's give them a couple of more minutes. But uh, then we're gonna move on with day twelve. I hope day twelve isn't too hard. But since this was quite fast, I mean, I think we're, I think we're good. Let's see. Um. Do 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 do. -do. All right, I think it's been approximately two minutes. Uh, do let's see. Close all the array stuff. But I like I like Advent of Code in this sense, right? Because now we've seen you know how to do mutable arrays, we've seen how to do parsing, and we've kind of get a, gotten a kind of a nice glimpse into you know. Like, people always think, you know, how would you do this in a functional language? How would you, like, how, how do you deal with immutable data is if everything is immutable by default? And you're like, well, we have data types for that. It's just like, instead of mutability being the default, we make it explicit. Which uh, fixes a lot of bugs. Actually, I'm going to get some coffee. And then we'll start. I, I keep pushing the keep warm button on my coffee maker, but then it just doesn't do it. So slightly cold coffee, but hey. I'm somewhat of a bad coffee aficionado. You know, I just like coffee and then bad coffee is not as the best coffee, but it's not too bad either. Let's go back to Admin of Code. Let's go look at day 16. Not open yet. Day 12. Rain risk. All right. Your ferry made decent progress towards the island, but the storms came in faster than were expected. Your ferry needs to take evasive action. In. All right. Fortunately, the safety navigation computer seems to be malfunctioning. Rather than giving a route directly to safety, it produced extremely circuitous. You see how I pronounce that word it was a magic card so i had to think of it when i was playing magic about circuitous root circuitous circuitous that's how i say it uh with well, the captain uses the pa system to ask if anyone can help you quickly volunteer navigation instructions your puzzle input consists of a sequence of single character actions paired with integral input values after staring at them for a few minutes you work out what they probably mean and it's north, south, east, west, left, right, forward. Okay, so action F means to move forward by the given value in the direction the ship is currently facing. Ship starts facing east. Okay, so north, uh, so north will always give us north. So we can kind of, we can kind of take the north south east and west instructions out in the beginning okay let's start by let's start by doing that okay do 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 so we 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 we, we in essence we have a bunch of instructions and we have to translate them to the right instructions let's do it I'm just gonna go do text parser combinators read for you. Uh, look at this written by my arch nemesis. Let's look at it. Uh, 
day 12. Oh, it went into the wrong directory. Uh, no. I care. Do not ask me again. That was very harsh, right? New file. Day 12.hs. Alright, let's see. Uh, import. No, this is gonna be module main where import text dot parse parser combinators dot read p um i'm i'm not even gonna write a parser okay i'm just gonna say a uh, data a uh, so this is gonna be what do they call it? Instructions, right? Nav is gonna be it's gonna be north north end or what what in the order? North, south, east, west. South end. East int West int And then it says uh, Then it says Left right forward right Left int Right int Forward int. Now I'm curious Will, will it only ever be R90 or like, will it ever be R something that's not going to turn it into uh, R? So, I mean, it seems like, you know, none of them will be like R45. Let's see, R45. No, 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 L45. I think they'll always be just flipping in the new direction. That's going to be fine. Okay, deriving show. Okay, now we write to inster. Take a string and write the instruction to nav. Google. What's the type of read? Ask call read. Uh, so if I want to import implement a read instance, I can write read spec. Uh, read spec is in streets s. A read as is just a list of strings. This is just a, okay. So instance read nav where I'm not allowed to do this oh my god <sighs> read, I need reads reads rack I'm just gonna ignore this this is gonna be the string and I'm just gonna write it here uh, if it starts with north and rest this is gonna be n uh, read n dollar read r comma like this for all of the data types and s s e oh shit it's not oh it didn't do the thing okay 
So N S E P. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's see. This is the difference between Wim and VS Code. Are you ready? We're opening this file in Vim. Now this is the wrong directory. Day 12. Vim day 12.hs. I'm gonna open it here and I can copy these. <laughs> and I can paste it here. And it and it does the correct thing. If I did this in VS Code, it would like paste each of the lines, which is super annoying. Oh, I copied too many. Like this. Okay. Um, LRF. Okay, and then get input is going to take a file path and it's going to return us an IO of a list of nav. Get input is going to be uh, fmap uh, read dot lines of read file. I think I have to do map now main IO main equals get input test input into uh, print so you chrono Kirby and uh, Timmy uh, how long did this run for you to was it a lot of work? Like, what is the what is the baseline here that we're competing against? I think actor yeah, competing that we should evaluate ourselves against. Well, I'm gonna say here. Um, GT 03 day 12 and measure command uh, expression day 12 got exit out default we just parse it and print it Right, F10, North 3, F7, R90, F11. Now we're gonna write a function here. Is dear. It's gonna return nav to move. Is. So we're gonna derive enum. Is dear. It's gonna be a n. Uh, is there is going to be LM North to South? No, okay. This is too too brutal because we don't we don't have a North, south, east, <laughs> west. Okay, solution. So we, first of all, we're going to take a list of navs and we're going to return an int. Solution, okay. Undefined. Now we're going to say here where span, we're going to, we're going to take span. Google. We're gonna split it into two lists. The, the instructions. Uh, uh, 
the span what is it called again like the not the span but the other function like the one that breaks it into two groups Band, drake, drop file, split add. Okay, let's just, um, so it's gonna be here. It's gonna be jars, comma. Uh, so it's gonna be directions, and this is gonna be the other one is gonna be um, uh, instr. And this is just going to be uh, filter is dear uh, navs navs comma filter not is dear uh, navs now for the navs we can actually just sort them. We could do like, uh, we could do, uh, we could do imaginary numbers. Uh, now let's see. Uh, can we do complex numbers in Haskell? Is that even wise? just do it now uh, let's write dare to complex keyboard data dot complex nav is gonna take a nav and you're gonna return as a uh, complex int dare to complex so north uh, and that's gonna be uh, one plus zero. Now that's gonna be oh no sorry that's gonna be zero plus n. Dear to complex south n so it's gonna be zero plus minus n. Dear to complex east. It's gonna be n. Uh, so this s and s and e and e, and then uh, west. West is gonna be minus v. Now, due to complex, anything else is just gonna be undefined. Uh, now can we we can sum right let's see here um See, it's gonna be the sum of map dear to complex of uh, dears. Why do you define complex numbers if I can't add them? 
that is uh, that is useless some of complex numbers has cool Okay, so let me just write fold L1, uh, C1, C2 is it goes to, uh, okay, let's just see here. So this is A plus B plus X plus Y. Oops, sentence fairy doesn't end up somewhere imaginary. It's Santa, bro. He's going to be imaginary. But uh, how 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 did you solve this to me? Uh, a plus x uh, plus uh, b plus y of gears. Oh right, a uh, map. Uh, they're too complex. Uh, dear. Okay. Now we have the final coordinate. And uh, let's see here. Let's see. Uh, magnitude. Magnitude of res C. And that is a uh, real float int. Oof. Float. Oh my god. Need to be working with floats, but that's okay. Oh, we get the input, and uh, we will print the solution. So this will be the the kind of the result after. Uh, oops. After. If we only look at the directions, uh, non instruction, non exhaustive patterns and function is dear. All right. Gotta, I just had two ints for x and y, yeah. Okay, so we go north, up three, and we end up... I mean, it's like we use polar coordinates, right? That's what, that's what the space people do. We're gonna be like astronauts using Bela God Complex. <laughs> Um Okay. Now we have to figure out Now we have to Now we have to figure out this. For forward 10. Oops. Oh my god, no! This is all the input. Yeah. 
it's gonna be a lot of input and i don't have access to any of my commands anymore that's fine no i have some okay can i get an f in chat <laughs> uh for my terminal history let's see <laughs> so the thing is like it starts with east so So we're gonna say uh, make polar. Let's look at that. The current phase starts off, and the current phase starts off at zero. Now, uh, We're gonna go over the instructions. We're gonna make them into complex coordinates. So we're gonna say a instance to complex. That's gonna take in a list of nav. And oh, it's gonna take in like the the phase, which is gonna be a float, and a list of navs. And instance to complex, it's gonna instance to complex, it's gonna take in the current phase and a list of navs, and it's going to return a complex a float instance to complex a phase, um. So if it's if we're just gonna say phase and uh, nothing, so if we are if we're at the end, oh let's let's do this, uh, and then we're gonna have another complex. We're gonna have a complex float. Okay, float, complex float, nav, complex float. Uh, so, curve phase. Uh, ooh, thanks. And Steve TV. Hope y'all are enjoying some Haskell programming. Uh, it's, I like it. Curloc, and if we're the empty one, then we just return curloc. Now, insters, and it doesn't matter. Insters to complex of curve phase cur loc. So, if this is the case that this is F, uh, if it's the case that it's, if it's like R, uh, okay, we don't actually need these are to put the P. You can see it's gonna be ints. Nice. Now, these two, these two will be int. Uh, so if the current phase of the loc is, so we're gonna have a couple of phases. We're gonna have R, R90, we're gonna have L90 and 180. So R90 uh, rest equals that is going to be uh, instars to complex of this will be cur phase um, Let me see. So 
So, okay, we, we start off in the east. And then we go right. So, if we, okay, let's go do the other one. If we go left 90, then the current phase goes up by pi over 2. Or look, uh, rest. Okay, if it goes left 180, then it goes by pi. If it goes R90, then it goes. Uh, because r180 then it also goes plus pi so that's gonna be fine uh, but if it goes right so because doing plus pi and minus pi here is the same because it just loops around R90 is going to be minus pi. Okay, let's just have it minus pi. It's going to be fine. Now, inserts to complex. A so, curve phase and curve loc. Okay, so now if we have... Uh, then the, so, now we're only going to be looking at forward. F M magnitude rest. Uh, it's gonna be float. That's gonna be uh, that's so then we're gonna create a new number. We're gonna say uh, where uh, X plus Y equals make polar make polar m curve phase this is going to be instars to complex curve phase and now here we're going to have uh, cx cy uh, curve phase is going to be unchanged but uh, this will be a cx plus x A CY plus Y. And I think this needs to be a bunch of parentheses. <laughs> right. Let's see if it works. There's going to be magnitude res C plus insters to complex. Uh, okay, so... Res instr is going to be uh, okay. So so this is res c. That's going to be r a r x plus r y. And now now uh, the uh, uh, is going to be the uh, d x d y. It's going to be instruction X plus instruction Y of applying instars to complex. And we start at zero. Current phase is zero. We start at this current log zero. Uh, current log zero. Zero plus zero. And we give it the instar. And then we simply return the magnitude and then res equals dx plus ix plus uh, dy plus iy. Like this, and we return it to magnitude of res. Let's see. I really, I, 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 it's a bit sad that there's no native support for 
Um, Eighteen point seven eight. Uh, okay, that is not that is not correct. Let's see. Left ninety. So it it you can it ran all the instructions. Should we just have two ints? Yeah, I think so. Probably right. Oh, sheet. I, I flipped around. Uh, wait, no. Make polar magnitude in the current phase, right? Let's see, data that complex. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be magnitude in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is correct. Okay, uh, let's return complex float here and let's return the res. Oh yeah, so you're gonna return the Manhattan distance of 17 plus 8 is 25. So the magnitude is like going there directly. Yeah, it goes gives us the Euclidean distance exactly, Timmy. Timmy has it again. Uh, let me see. So this is just gonna be abs of dx plus ix plus a abs of dy plus iy right all right 25 Point O. So that was that's correct, right? Let's get the puzzle input. Let's see how it performs on the input. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, forty-eight milliseconds. Oh no. Non-exhaustive patterns in function instruments too complex. I apply them to what? So we have a for L90, L180, R90, R180. Instruments too complex, and then whatever, whatever. Uh, oh yeah. No, okay, and then R rest. Equals error show R. Let's see. Let's see what he fails on. <laughs> error L two hundred seventy. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we have L L ninety pi plus two. L one eighty. And then we'll have L270, which is going to be pi uh, three times three times pi over two. And the same for R. It's going to be 270. It's gonna be three three times pi over two. Make sure that the braces are correct. Three times 
319.0 oh my god uh, okay i'm just gonna write 320 because i think this is some floating point bullshit oh my god okay let's see What's the result? Damn it. You know, what is this? Is it like... Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to just rewrite it. Um... <sighs> Let's rewrite it. Let's drop these complex stuff. We don't need it. A comma B. It's gonna go to A comma B. It's gonna go to These are gonna be ints, and we don't need dates. <laughs> Wasn't really counting on floating point errors. You don't have to deal with them that much in Haskell, you know? They just don't quite show up. dx plus ix comma this is too complex now this is going to be quite a little bit from your favorite material inster Oh, actually let's let's change it not quite there let's keep these as complex numbers But let's change these to int. <laughs> and now there's your turn on a complex int. Make polar won't work. <laughs> what can I just have this be in? Oh, make polar will. only work for floating <laughs> so if it does l x curve face plus x now if it says 
R X. We are going to return X. And then when we have this uh, curve face X plus Y. Case curve phase of zero, then it's gonna be uh, we're going to the east, it's gonna be CX plus M. CI. It's, if it's 90, then we're going up. If it's 180, then we're going backwards. 180. I'm looking at packets linear, linear V2. Oh yeah, that looks good. I mean, but Kemet, he's a... He is a real legend, you know? Yeah, then you can do... Oh, then you can do some of vectors. Oof. Yeah. But also, this angle needs floating. Yeah, I wish I'd known about it before I started today. I, I concur. So and always here we will do we do current phase plus x mod 360. Mod 360. Uh, yeah, let's see. No, this won't happen. I mean, it might happen, but I don't think it will happen. But this is not 17, right? So, okay, zero, 90, 180, 270, and then 360. Uh, no, okay, yeah, this is just supposed to be an X plus an I. Let's see. Okay, now we get this 198 plus minus 121. So then we get this 300... Uh, we get this, uh, that was like, well, it was almost what we got before, right? But this is fine. 319, let's see. We said 320 earlier, right? We should have just round it down. All right. We got part one. Now, let's see what part two is going to be about. Uh, before you can get this, you realize that the actions, actual action meaning we're printed on the back. Okay. Almost all the actions indicate how to move a waypoint, which is relative to the ship's position. 
rotate the waypoint around the ship. This. Um. I am going to save this as int version. I'm going to save day twelve. That hs. Day twelve. Int that hs. I'm going to go back to the floating point version. Because I think that would be way better for doing any rotations and stuff like that. So we undo all of these things. Oh shit, that's too many undoes. run it on the we run it on the input do, 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 do. oh and I forgot yeah I, I this is whoosh. I had didn't have the there were two two seventy and then R minus. And let's uh, let's replace a double float with double. It's gonna make it all slower, but that's okay. Do we get the same errors if we don't have? Uh, I mean, okay, so the error will just be smaller. Okay, like this, and I will just use this. And now instead of saying, uh, we will say, um, we'll just round it. And just assume it's close enough. <laughs> nice. Let's find a deck to rot into float deck to rot. Zero equals zero. Deg to rot. Ninety equals pi or two. Deg to rot. One eighty equals pi. Deg to rot. Two seventy equals three times pi over two. Uh oh, and this is not supposed to be here. And then we will change this to be something more second D plus deg to rod to uh, And then for R, it's a minus. Much clearer. Uh, sweet. Okay, and uh, it's probably this function exists somewhere. What we could actually do is like we could merge these two, but that's I don't think I don't know. Oh, let's commit it. Git. Git status. Add. Add uh, day twelve dot hs and then input and test input. Hit commit am day 12 
part one. Push it. I like, uh, I, I keep saving my work. I keep just, I'm always pushing on Git. Uh, usually like if I, yeah, so I usually, you know, I have my own branch. I just commit a bunch to that bunch and then I push on the branch. And then afterwards I fix it up. You know, I, I merge, I do merge requests for the branches. Uh, but this is, this is nice. Okay, so it starts at 10 unit east and one unit north relative to the ship. The waypoint is relative to the ship. That is, if the ship moves, the sh point, waypoint moves with it. So F10 moves the ship to the waypoint 10 times. So the 100 units east and 10 units north. So what I'm hoping is, you know, if we have the complex coordinate, we can like rotate about the coordinate. Um No no, I mean you don't really have any So to rotate an imaginary number you just change the face. So then we we move it and we rotate it. Okay. So oh, okay. Uh, let's start. This is gonna be something, right? So we move the waypoint north and we move the south, east, west. Yeah. But now we have to kind of do it on the fly because uh, we can't just like we can't take it out. Okay, let's see, let's see. No, let's just move, let's see here. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see what happens. Relation to, now instead of doing these, we actually need we instead of this we will just say uh, abs uh, x plus abs i y and now this will be uh, navs okay so the current phase Okay, that's gonna be the phase of the waypoint. So every time we move, so we move the waypoint and then... So, okay, instructions to complex. So, okay, we have the phase. We have the... Uh, ship, loc, and then we have... So this is gonna be... S... Ship and waypoint... Waypoint... And we return, in the end, we return where the ship is. complex float and this yeah they have different numbers of arguments so let's call this a rot and then ship and then v point v point okay uh, rot plus deck to rot uh, now we're gonna be rewriting this anyway Okay, if we're at the end, we don't care about the ship. Uh, now let's just call this run, actually. Run. Uh, okay, so if we are in the end, and this is gonna be then... So we start at... Ten, it, the waypoint starts 10 units east and one unit north relative to the ship. So this is going to be the position relative to the ship. So 
the current phase, the current rotation is a rotation of the waypoint. So, I, in the initial rod, uh, but we don't need the rotation. We just need, we just need the position of the waypoint. Okay, and now this is what we, so the initial position of the ship is zero zero. The initial position of the waypoint is ten units east and one unit north. Uh, complex float. Okay, uh, so let's see. Run ship. Uh, okay, then yeah. Ship and then VP and then okay. Now for N. So the magnitude. Uh, these are all floats. These are ints. So the N magnitude. We move the waypoint north by the given value. So this is going to be VX, VMY, uh, rest. Um, first of all, then we are going to say this is going to be run. The ship is going to stay the same place, but we move the waypoint. Uh, VX plus M plus V. Y rest okay now for south we will remove the waypoint south um for east and oh let's do east first no 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 this is this is this is wrong this is east and this is west and this would be north. Uh, north magnitude that should add to the y coordinate. Y plus m. And uh, this should be and then we have moving this south. Uh, this is going to be Y minus M. Okay. Now, let's do, let's do F. So F means move forward to the waypoint a number of times equal to the given value. Now, that means a run ship. Beep we. Of, if it says forward forward magnitude rest it's going to be run ship prime the move point doesn't move and the rest where ship prime and then we want to uh, we want to compute the new number Okay, so uh, VP, VM, uh, VR equals polar VP. Right? VM, VR, and then uh, this is going to be uh, N, NP, uh, uh, new loc, it's going to be a mk polar mk polar of vm times m vr so that's that's like the position of the ship relative to the ship where it's going to be moving a r x relative x and relative y 
And now I wish I could just add these two. So let's just say SX plus SY is going to be S SX plus RX. Uh, RX plus SY plus RY, I think. Then we moved forward. In the direction of the waypoint. Relative to the ship. Now, I think, actually, that left and right are going to be very easy. Ship. VP. Uh, left wrote uh, it's gonna be VP prime where VP prime equals uh, it's gonna be VP prime is going to be the magnitude of VP we're gonna make polar polar with the same magnitude as the waypoint but the uh, the uh, we're gonna have the phase vp plus deg to rot of the the rotation Doesn't look too bad, huh? Using polar coordinates, rotations of vectors and stuff. Let's see what let's see what it does. Oh no. I already pushed. Two hundred seventy four for the test input, but it says two hundred eighty six. Let's inspect the float. float so this is 126 plus 148 okay let's see uh, let's see here I want to show this space here should be this is how like this slightly more concise more aesthetically pleasing uh, let's see 
import to debug without trace. This needs to be at the top. <sighs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna say here trace show uh, uh, trace l l uh, l plus d uh, uh, r at r at uh, trace uh, right trace is gonna be we're gonna trace show uh, r comma vp prime uh, vp Trace show r comma ship prime uh, ship prime. Let's see what it does for not for this one, but for the yeah for the test input. Yeah, let's see. So it says. Forward 10, the new one is 9, 99 plus 99. So leaving the ship at East 100, North 10. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's actually change this. Uh, let's make this into I, this is like the instruction, right? P prime is going to be this number here. Uh, yeah. And here we're gonna show I comma VP prime. I no, we're gonna return the VP prime. Yeah, like this. So for south, it was minus here. For this, it was plus M here. Uh, this is east. And then for west, it should be west minus. If you're just joining us, we are doing day 12 of the Advent of Code for 2020. Uh, we already did day 15 earlier today, but uh, we finished it quite fast, so we're doing day 12 because we have to catch up because I missed out on day 11, day 12. I did day 11 yesterday. Now we're doing day 12. Okay, so north so f10 says go yeah the, okay so move the the f is correct and three moves the waypoint three units north uh three to to ten units east and four units north of the ship yes okay so then f7 moves the waypoint seven times 70 units east and 28 units north Uh, okay, I think it's just because I'm adding it wrong here. Uh, so, right, so when, when I, so that's the, the thing, right? So N3, F7, most of the waypoint seven times. So F here, 
should not do the polar thing. It that that's too much. Yeah, so it should just be uh, the ship X V X a uh, plus we uh, y and this should just be plus m times and this should be plus m times and this should be one we y y and then okay let's see if this works oh it's a bug uh v x we y VP at Let's see Let's see if it works It's running at least That's something Okay so North 3 moves the waypoint Then F7 Leaving the ship at East 170 North 38 Yes okay so that was right So the F was right So then let's do the polar thing right Okay, and then it says. Okay, so it moves. So it says bends up at 170 north 38. Yep. R90 rotates the waypoint around the ship clockwise 90 degrees, moving it to 4 units east and 10 units south. Leaving. Four, wrote four units east and ten units south, but we're we have it at four units, uh, four units west, ten units south. Did we just rotate in the wrong direction? Yeah. Okay, we forgot when you fixed this. We forgot to change this to minus. Let's see. Let's see. I think I think we got it now. Yes, so then we rotate it and it ends up at 4 and minus minus 10. And 10 units south, yeah, yeah, so yeah, south is, south is down, south, uh, yeah, which we're in the polar coordinates, we're not in screen coordinates, right? Okay, so, and then we move the ship and it ends up at ABS. Uh, let's see. Brem, brem, brem. This should be correct. Now I want to just define. I'm just gonna do it like this. Instance num complex float. Where? And this is uh, flex. I need flexible instances for this. Language flexible. Flexible instances. I probably needed something else also, right? Yeah. Overlapping instances for num. There's there isn't there isn't one already. <laughs> so I don't have to do this. I can just do ship equals ship plus ten times VP. Oh, sheet. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. We didn't actually need to do this. Uh, M times VP. From integral. Because this M here will be a float, right? Uh, what? How do I change it? Uh, return. <laughs> This is a function that goes from float to complex float. 
yeah uh, yeah so i need to you need to uh, uh, so this should be a uh, make polar m zero Does it still work if I do it like this? Yeah, it still works. Nice. So... This VP here, that's just gonna be... VP prime is going to be... VP minus... Uh, west is minus M plus zero. Uh, so it's gonna be this is gonna be VP is this. And then we don't need to like pattern match or anything. I like the way I like writing it that way better. We put so much effort into defining all these polar coordinates, but then we didn't actually have to do anything. He just writes zero here, right? Uh, yeah. And I think like we could write M here. No, okay, we have to. So uh, north and south, uh, that's they're gonna go from zero. Plus M and it's gonna be zero plus M and it's gonna be minus. Okay, apparently this works also, even though I don't know, I don't like how it reads. it looks like kind of like zero times vp right okay but it works right then this here is this is just uh, uh some Yeah, I think this will do it. So all of these change the VP. Um and you can see that because we use polar, we use complex numbers and polar coordinates, like we didn't have to deal with the whole rotation stuff, right? It just works. I like it. Let's uh, clean it up. Because um, complex numbers, you know, I did, I did math. Math, not even once, kids. Uh, they are essentially just a vector. They are not essentially, they are literally <laughs> to, uh, a vector. <laughs> that's how we do talk about the complex numbers. And then, you know, the whole I and imaginary, that is just, that is just lies put on later. I think, uh, that's what I think. Um... This all changes the the waypoint somehow. Uh, 
I wish I could, uh, like, there's, there is a number uh, you can, um, there's like, you can, uh, I think you, there's like a, there's like a number you can multiply by. Oh shit. If you multiply by I. If you multiply by I. Then you, you get, you get the rotation, right? Let's see. Uh, so instead of saying here, make polar. What I want to say is I want to do VP times. So, uh, a deck to rot. Uh, I want to say make polar one. A deck to rot D. And this should be the magnitude here should be minus a uh, no detector rod should be complete, but this should be minus <laughs> and we end up at two seventy four, which is not two eighty six, right? No, yeah. This is, this is still giving us 286, right? Yes. Let's see, what if I... Okay, so in the test input have R90 so I only need to be changing this if I want to see what it what effect it has so where VP prime equals VP times uh, I want to do D like how how many times oh my god D div 90 so this is how many uh, so this is why no that is not correct <sighs> make polar uh, one D div ninety uh, times pi over two. Make polar, make polar, make polar. <laughs> and what is this issue here? Good match type. Uh, okay, should be 1.0. No, well, here I got 274, but I see we gain 286. Magnitude should be a positive number. Um, minus. Oh, yeah, sweet. So here, this should be positive. And then we don't need this deck to rot thing.
and we don't actually need these here well okay Tech to rot he is going to be as and I don't need this here uh, so it's gonna be minus deg to rot d and this is gonna be deg to rot and do we need all of these yeah, like this uh yeah We don't need these here. Okay, now let's see. Let's see what happens. Sweet. You see? So now... Um, so for all the things... Uh, so now I wanna uh, now I wanna just yeah. anyway uh, so we could we could map these all into changes right but now we're just using complex number math to do it directly, uh, which is nice. So, uh, uh, see, that's gonna be uh, where is the C X C Y? That's coming from. That's the ship. Uh, it's gonna be C plus R or rot I like it this way. <laughs> now let's see what the solution one give us. We're changing that up a bit too, right? That gave us 25, which was, yeah, that was part one. So let's see here. The current phase. We don't actually need to change the current phase, right? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we need to, because we're just rotating the ship, we're not rotating like the entire. Are we? No, yeah, we, yeah, okay, this is good. Let's copy the deck to rot from here. Fix this up and make it more general. Um, how can we like make this a bit nicer? Can we make it a nicer at all? I like this. Uh, it's pretty succinct, right? Succinct. Succinct. Yeah. We don't need this. And now let's let's we have this is dear function right now let's let's write a dear to move 
It takes you to nav and it returns to complex float here to move so nm is equal to 0 plus m now sm is equal to minus uh, East is equal to M and this is West. Now we can just say here run ship VP I rest case is dear I equals run ship VP prime uh, run ship VP plus uh, dear to move uh, I uh, rest we can move all these lines because they're all doing the same thing uh, ins and this is gonna be ins okay <laughs> now uh, there to change it's gonna be nav complex complex float there to change uh l d is going to be make polar a uh, 1.0 Deg to rot D and then R uh, it's gonna be deg minus yeah minus deg to rot these are all known total functions uh, so we have is dear and then we have uh, so we can do it like this. If it's a deer, then it's like this. If it is M, then we just move it. Otherwise, the ins here is going to be ins is going to be this. So then we just say VP times dare to change uh, ins. Because if it's if it's not uh if it's not uh If it's not a, a direction and if it's not like an F, then it's going to be a rotation. And this is going to be ints. I like this specification of the thing. So here we, so it's going to be, we're going to be multiplying or we're going to be adding. Yeah. And so uh there to uh forward it's gonna be nav to complex float there to forward is going to be F of M is equal to um, uh, make polar M zero. Ins run is zip plus uh, dear to forward uh, ins but here we have to check is a uh, is a uh, forward uh, is f now let me just define is f to be nav to bool is f f 
equals true is f underscore equals false so it is a, if it is a oh, let's just be yeah this is dear otherwise it's a rotation so this should be a dear to move this should be a rot to change and this should be f to uh move move uh so this is going to be is f ins and it's going to be a f to move and this is going to be a this is going to be a rot to change okay uh now this is a very nicely put way of doing it now let's see if it's correct we haven't actually checked we've just been refactoring all day every day nine five six three seems to run pretty fast uh let's see that's not the right answer damn oof did we do something wrong in our refactorings we still get oh now we get Ooh. okay we don't we don't get we don't get it correctly <laughs> oops um uh this is why you have to have tests right when you refactor um damn it let's see we do, yeah we should have checked if we had it correct you know the tests output okay that's wrong so if it's a direction then uh, then it's then we change the VP by the direction to move. It goes north, then it goes north, it goes south, it goes south, east goes east, west it goes west. The so left rotation, right rotation. Uh, no, wait, this is this is wrong. This should be F to move times VP. I think that's the issue here. <laughs> yeah, now it's now it's saying 286 and 319. Yeah, now it's correct. All right, we finished day 12, and we did it all using nice complex math. Uh, I like this. I like this solution. I like because uh, it's like it's like succinct. It's a uh, you know we didn't have to do any pairs or vectors or anything like that. We just kind of directly we kind of directly um, fixed it. We did we did it all directly, right? Hmm. All right, and we did it, you know, in 732 milliseconds for all of it. And I mean, that's not a bad. That's not bad at all. Let's see. Let's see what like only the part two of the solution takes. Not very time complex this task now. Exactly. I think it's also, you know, because it's, this is mostly about, like, can you make it look nice? In the thing, you know, because, like, I don't think there's any shortcut here. I don't think, like, okay, we did take a shortcut in the first one here. But that's, that's it, right? Um... Uh, that was it. That, that, that was, like, the shortcut we take, took... That we could just we, we could just move the north south first and then use that directly 
Um, but yeah, this is this is quite nice. Uh, yeah. So first we, we change here we change the here we change the VP, here we change the ship, here we change the VP again. Yeah. Alright, I mean I'm getting 23 milliseconds, just barely more than starting. I mean this is this is uh, yeah, this is not the actual time. This is like this is the time that it takes when I run it first, right? And that's always a bunch. <laughs> yeah, so it's 33 milliseconds. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm not spending time on anything, right? So it's just, I don't know, it's like the, the runtime system t has to load a bunch of libraries or something, and in, uh, no, I think I think it's just like the runtime system has to load a bunch of libraries, and uh, and at least on Windows, you know, I mean those libraries will be in the cache when you run it the second time. Uh, I mean this is why like Amazon Lambda functions they always warm up first and make the machine warm. Is yeah, I mean that's what I would assume. It's like it's some like first it has to read the definitions and everything from the runtime system into uh, the memory, and then because that's like a couple of megabytes, like the runtime system, the executable itself is like eighty megabytes compiled, and it has to like load that. And but you know I I don't know because like when Rust when Rust people run it, it goes fast. Uh, but like I don't think they're doing time on the command line like when I when they say we do it in a couple of microseconds that's I think that's like after reading all files from disk because like microsecond read times of files it's just that's way too fast for me you know all right so yeah we did day 12 uh git commit uh, let's just remove the int solution. I, I didn't like that. RM day 12 dash int rm star and then this is because we opened vim git status git commit am day 12 part 2 yeah this is pretty nice so I guess Timmy, you did this with pairs of integers. Like you had a bunch of issues doing like rotations and stuff, right? You because you have to figure out the rotation of the coordinates, and that's a bunch of work, right? That's why I assume. That's why I like this complex number stuff, because then we can just use, you know, times and plus and multiply to do all the rotations. And it just works right away. It goes fast. I like it. I like it, Timmy. Hey. And, uh, you know, we could probably do this nicely by saying here, instead of saying float, we would say this is a complex number. And then we wouldn't have to do so much here. You know, this would just be... Because, like, this here is essentially... Um, let's, let's do here. Uh, data change is going to be... Let's do, uh, if it's the waypoint, uh, complex float. Now, so this is going to be a deer. And then it's going to be rot, complex float. And then it's going to be move, uh, complex float. 
and then we just do deriving show then write a function taking all of these here um when we're where we're gonna say okay this is gonna be the function we just want to be so if i was like writing this actually it would be like a nav to change takes a nav and returns a change and now nav to change is gonna be uh all of these right nav to change uh this is gonna be these are all gonna be dear actually i don't need these dear apply to dollar uh let me just answer one message okay uh, now to change then for these it's gonna be uh move now this is gonna be rot and then finally gonna be uh, nav to change and it's gonna be move. and now we don't have the deg to rot function anymore so we have to go get it to rot uh, it's just gonna be this Okay, now to change, deck to rot. Um, then we just do here. Uh, we are just gonna do, so changes is gonna be map nav to change navs. We don't need these. Uh, and then Ch -ch 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 changes uh, so changes is gonna be a list of changes Oops. change change that was what Obama said right uh, okay yeah okay yeah yeah sure I think you know for us we we could have dealt with non non rotation not like degree rotational stuff you know so if if it is rot of of, of r uh, then it is vp plus uh no if, this, if it is dare d then we just say vp plus d if it is rot to no, so here we say if it is rot r, and then we just say vp r, and if we say move m, uh, no, and it's gonna be ship. Uh, M times VP. Pretty nice, no? Map nav to change navs. The solution is pretty short. Let's look at Timmy's solution. Yeah. I mean, it's good. 
kind of the same right uh but right direction okay yeah this is nice to have direction as one thing and then, then you can kind of match on direction instead of yeah it's clever to me very clever i see so now we have okay now we don't need these is dear so what I like about this is now we have no non-total functions. So we don't have to filter or anything, you know. Oh, we, we do need dir here. So we do it we do it for solution one, right? But we don't do it for anything else. Which is nice. Uh let's run it again. Now, solution two is like super short. Um, and runs quite fast. And uh, it just works out. You know, I think we could rewrite this as a fold somehow by like encapsulating the state in like a pair and then it says pair to pair and then fold over the pair. You know, this is just fine, I think. This is quite fine. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, so I think this is quite nice. Quite, quite fast. It's very detailed. Uh, and the solutions themselves are kind of easily expressed. Uh, which is nice. Alright, um, I think that's gonna be all for today. We did two days today. Git commit um, day 12 refactored refactored push yeah that's gonna be all for today uh thanks again for joining in i had a lot of fun doing this i like doing complex numbers because they you know i know that works got to use yeah so timmy's solution is like a i think this is a like a proper pattern can you even see this you know like where you where you have you know you have two fields so i had like one field uh you know one field encapsulating the entire thing but timmy has the direction here which means that later um he can define these uh functions on the direction itself and then he can like look at the direction here you know which is is good it's good stuff timmy uh yeah and exactly like because the because for two me eh, he's just using pairs of ints and you know luckily you know the changes are all pairs of ints so it all works out but we use floats because we're using complex numbers and you know it introduces some floating point operation errors but that's just because the default float in haskell is like 16 or something that is it's a weird choice but you have double which is like or like yeah float is like 32 and you have double which is 64 but uh yeah i pushed it and uh thanks for joining in and uh, you know look look in on the youtube channel if you want to see the recordings or on this channel and uh, join us tomorrow five o'clock tomorrow uh we're gonna be doing day 16. it's gonna be good and i'm still in quarantine so you know this is great great to have something to do quarantine all right see you all tomorrow bye bye